Hello friends and family. Thank you so much for joining me again. I hope your new year is off to a fantastic start. This week we're back with another blog post and the companion audio and video. This week's piece is called The Chase. I like to chase down ideas. I compulsively pursue notions. I have a wide range of interests and I like to explore them all. This habit of throwing myself into various endeavors has, at times, been frustrating to people around me. I know I have strained relationships with my desire to run down flights of fancy. And for those who don't understand, the question is always, why? Some people don't understand. Often, we don't understand. We think all our endeavors need some tangible end goal. We think our every interest needs to be a side hustle. We think we need money or recognition or whatever to justify our activities, but we don't. I am a big believer in why. It's important to have purposeful and meaningful pursuits, but sometimes we overcomplicate why. Some things can just be. When I talk about chasing down an idea, that's really how it feels. Some fleeting notion will pass through my brain, and I'm compelled to sprint after it, to catch it before it gets away. I don't know why the thought is there, but it is. I figure it's there for a reason, even if I don't know the reason. That idea, that impulse, that desire has to be chased because it's there, and I have to figure out why. I always find something when I explore an idea. Sometimes it's not what I expected to find. Some pursuits give me a deep sense of purpose. Some are distractions. Some are lessons. Some are joyful, some are painful, but they're all worthwhile. I take something away from every experience, even if it's just learning not to repeat a mistake. Every road is worth taking. Every dream is worth chasing. Every silly idea scribbled on a cocktail napkin is worth going after because that's what life is. Life is messy. It's confusing. It doesn't make sense. But that's exactly why we should go after every little idea. We don't know what will land. We don't know what we'll find, but we will find something. It might be exactly what we need. It might be what someone else needs. It might be something that adds depth and beauty and purpose to our lives. Chase your ideas. Go after your dreams. They were given to you. You're the one who can bring them to life. Other people might not understand them, but they don't have to. Whatever random notion is tugging at your sleeve, it's looking for your attention. It doesn't matter if you've pushed off some goal for years. It doesn't matter if you've given up on an idea. Dreams don't go bad. They don't expire. If you have a dream, it's waiting for you. It wants you to chase it. And when you catch it, even if it doesn't look how you thought it would, even if it doesn't bring you what you thought it might, it's okay. I promise you'll take something away from the chase. And those lessons learned, those skills gained, they don't expire either. You get to keep them forever. Whatever you take away might just lead you to the next thing and the next thing and the thing after that. It's the chase. That's what really matters. That's what life is. We don't have to understand it but we shouldn't let it slip away. That's this week's piece. And I was thinking about that just as we end a tumultuous calendar year. Certainly, we're not over a lot of the challenges that we saw in 2020. And as we start a new year, and a year that is filled with hopefully some optimism of things that will change and progress for all of us. 
that it's important to remember things don't need to be perfect. We don't even need to fully understand why we're maybe compelled to do something. A lot of times we do get into this place where we feel, well, why am I doing this? This needs to lead to something else. This needs to lead to some money or recognition or whatever. But it doesn't have to. Find the things that you're passionate about. Find the things that interest you and just go after them and see where they lead. Life is short and it's complicated and it's messy. It's best to do the things we love, to pursue the things that interest us, that create some sense of passion. Have a great beginning of the year. Continue to pursue the things that interest you and don't worry about the end result so much. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the chase. Much love.